Okay, so for us to be able to create our groups, uh, we need an interface somewhere we can click in order to go to the list of groups that we've created or the list of groups that we belong to. Okay, so we already have a system here going on where we have timeline about followers right here. So we can just simply add groups to this list right here. Okay, so let's do that quickly. So I'm going to go to my profile page because that's where it is. So where are you? Profile.php. So let's go down here. That is the cover area. And this is the list of things that we have. So I'm going to put it right at the very end and say, um, it's obviously the profile page here. The part that will change is this part right there. So that one will be uh, groups. This will be the, uh, the link that we use. And I will change that to groups as well. Very good. So let's go back here and refresh our page. So now we have groups here. And if these are not fitting very well, you can always edit them to leave uh, less gap between the two. And that's by going to our menu buttons here. Let's go up here. Where is menu buttons? Right there. With 100 pixels. I actually have no idea what is pushing those guys apart. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, this is very strange. Settings, groups. Wow, it's been a while, so I've forgotten some of these things here. Let me come back here and refresh. Okay. In any case, uh, we'll figure that out. So if I click on groups now, obviously I will have nothing at the bottom here. So let's fix that. So um, it's because when we try to find the page, it does not exist. And that is why. So we also need to give it a section down here so that uh, we can include the required file. So I'm simply going to duplicate this area here. Uh, Control Shift D if you are using Sublime Text. If you are using Notepad++, it's probably Control D. Okay, so Photos, and then we go and say Groups. And then right here we'll say uh, Profile Content. Let's follow the convention and say Groups like a so. Mm -hmm. So of course now we'll get an error because uh, the file does not exist. But it's usually good to get from what already exists. So for example here, if I click on followers, I do get a bunch of followers here. And one important thing is that these followers are profiles, yes, which we have kind of made uh, groups into something similar to profiles. So this would be uh, a nice, uh, we can get what's already here and use that. So look at uh, followers or following, which is uh, pretty much the same thing. Okay, so I'll get one of these. So let's see, this one is saying content followers right there. So this is, this is the one. Pro, uh, content followers. So I'm just going to open the containing folder and then right there, I'll copy and paste the file and simply rename it. I'll rename the copy to group. So instead of followers, uh, content groups like so. And let's obviously open that in our text editor. So it's going to be here and there it is. Okay. So if I refresh now, you see no difference whether I'm on groups or I'm on followers. Okay, so the only thing we need to do now is to change the content here. 
of what we are uh, getting here. So let me come to this point here. So as you can see, we have a file that we include, which is user.php, okay? And so we need to create a similar file for groups, which is a group.php. So let me go to user.php. It must be in the same uh, folder because there's no folder subfolder here. So there we go. That is user.php. So I will open the containing folder again. And what will I do? I will duplicate it and change its name to group.php. And of course, I have opened it. Very nice. Okay. So, yes, we'll be able to see our groups from here. And now, before we go any further, let me change the... Where is that file? Content group, right there. So, I just need to change the query here. So, instead of followers, I will have groups. So, post class, get likes. Okay. <clears throat> So this is where we are reading our followers from. So I'm just going to copy all the follower. Let me just grab the follower part of this and do that. And then I will say group instead of follower. I'll say group like so. So no groups were found. And then here I'm going to say group.php. Okay. Yeah looking good let's see if we are going to get rid of all the errors that will ensue all right so looking good it doesn't look like uh, anything has changed because the files are exactly the same but something has changed so one more thing we need now is to have a button at the very top here before <clears throat> we show all these now the button is going to say add group okay so that's how we're going to be adding groups right there so I just want to copy the format of that messages uh, button, which is right here. And <clears throat> now an important thing to remember here is uh, the groups. Okay. Uh, the group should only be seen, this group option should only be seen when somebody uh, owns the, if you own the the profile that you're viewing sorry so what i will do is do a similar thing as i did here i will move the groups into this because this is the if statement we have here that is asking if we own this particular thing so i will put a single quote there and then go to the very end and put another quote and um, our semicolon of course so let me refresh this and of course i made a mistake somewhere so this is a syntax error one of the easiest errors th uh, there is out there so it's on line 339 and of course we can guess it's exactly this line right here so all i need to do here is copy what is similar with this mm -hmm. so the thing is i am opening and closing uh, php tags here which is uh, not very nice so uh, what to do here is to remove those uh, PHP tags. Now, because we are using single quotes on the outside, uh, it will not evaluate anything inside the quotes. So we have to step out a bit like this. And then we have some more PHP tags here and an echo. So we will remove that. We don't need that no more. So single quote out like that. And then there's a closing PHP tag here. So we'll put a quote and a full stop. Delete that other quote there. Oh, I think I've done the opposite here. Should have put a dot and a thing like so. Okay, looking good. I think we do need um, root on this one as well. So I will copy this and put root right there. Very important. Okay, so let's refresh and see. Uh, okay, so we are good. Now let's get the messages. Um, 
the messages thing there let me come back up here so this is the message button here so we're asking the question do we own this and then we show this or else we show that but we don't need to ask that question because the whole page is simply going to show when we own the thing so we go into profile so i'll copy this including the link as well copy that and then i go to profile content right at the very top here now before we add anything here so right in there i will put my button there so let's come back here a little bit uh -huh. very nice so let's refresh and there we go so we have messages there but uh, it's got some weird uh, it's got some weird ooh, some weird styles here so we might want to get rid of those so it doesn't seem like the styles are here so they they must be in post button here so let's just uh, mess around with it put uh, a, a text there so it doesn't affect it okay so i see that's why uh it was there so let's go back here and into the profile.php and look at post button what exactly it has that makes it float so it's float right which is messing up things so here i will simply put inside the styles here i will say float and say none to reverse that floating thing so if i refresh now i do get a nice button right there and I can put a break tag here just to move it a little bit further down. Okay, so, so far so good. Um, instead of messages, of course, we have to change the value. It's going to be add group. Or we can just say create group. Something like that. Uh -huh. So refresh and there we go. So create group. So now the thing is, uh, because we designed our groups to be like um, user accounts, then we can use a system that's already there for creating user accounts, but we just uh, modify it a little bit to create groups instead, okay? So of course, we, I'm talking about the signup page. So the signup.php, we're going to change that into create group so that when we click here that's where we are taken so let's make sure that the link is sending us to something similar so we're going to call it this is messages and we're just going to call it create group very original name right there okay so create group that's where it's going to lead us and we don't have that page right now but uh, we shall create it so if I click here, I'll find page not found. So like I said, with this page not found, you can add your own styles and everything. You can still put the same header that's on the thing so that uh, it's more, I guess we can do that uh, eventually on a later video so that I show you how to make it more, to look like you haven't left the website at all when you don't find a page. Let me go back for a second here. So in the next video, we're going to see how to create an actual group. So I'll see you in the next video.